Hey guys, Django here. Today we are going to take a look at the Heinkel 100 D1, a plane that I've been looking for for a long time. We're going to take a look at this plane in realistic battle and we'll see how this baby does. I'll see you in the match. Hey guys, so here we are in the match. We have been climbing. The climb rate on the plane is good. And we've been picking up some speed here. We're already holding 500 kilometers an hour, which is way more than any of these other planes on this map can do. I just have to be careful not to make any mistakes and I should be quite home free. Like this is, that was uh, a hit. <laughs> and that's the, the armament for you. So three uh, small caliber machine guns and not the finishing power you would hope let's see how much energy this guy has left as we're zooming back down and we're picking up speed very very quickly the acceleration on this plane is fantastic it also has good energy retention top speed lies way over 700 kilometers decent handling in the initial dive does have uh, some strong control stiffening at the higher end speeds like above 650 you have to be careful not to crash into the ground at the end of your booms but with this acceleration and energy retention you can hold up with the uh, boom and zoom attacks indefinitely now let's see we have a BB1 incoming after killing these two I-15s and let's see if we can get a few hits on this thing. We do get a hit. We probably caused a uh, fuel and a water leak. Looks like an, uh, an oil leak actually. This is black smoke. But um, yeah, I'm not going after him. There's still some softer targets around. And we're looping over the top. Now we we have 230 speed he's still coming up he probably doesn't have the energy to get to get to us we are whipping picking up speed nicely in a slight climb here as we're stalling this plane out we're trying to roll over the top again and of course this plane is not the most maneuverable plane compared especially compared to these russian planes or spitfires or hurricanes there's a lot of planes that can outturn you. This is definitely something you want to avoid. Hits, hits, hits. We dip the wind there to avoid crashing into that guy. And we're taking it back up. Look at the, the speed loss here. If you don't make the climb too steep, you don't lose too much speed. And, and that's the energy retention for you. This plane is really built for speed. And that's what it is, fast. <laughs> and uh, you want to keep it fast uh, or if you know that you're safe you can use it in the vertical and you'll have no problem with these kind of planes except you have a problem with finishing them now the guns are definitely capable of finishing these planes off but you gotta hit them with long bursts and these planes are very maneuverable and you being in the boom and zoom role, you sometimes have your control, control stiffening and you can't keep your burst on the plane long enough to do serious damage and you'll get a lot of hits. That's basically the only downside of this plane, as it sits at 1.7 battle rating. It is pretty much the best plane there is at that battle rating when it comes to flight model. Not at everything of course, but you're basically untouchable to most of the other planes at this battle rating. Pretty much all actually. <laughs> it is just a fantastic plane that if this thing had a 20 in the nose, it would do fine at, well, let's say something like 3.7, 4.0. It would have a good competition there, but it could handle itself there, I'm pretty sure. If it had a 20, right? But it doesn't have a 20. <laughs> and that makes these uh, these planes tough opponents to shoot down. Because you need to keep your guns on target for a while. 
Now you see, it can go all right if if you get a, a fire and you keep the the guns on target for two two three seconds. But uh, if you don't get that, and you will get hit, and I got a lot of hits. <laughs> ah, that's all right. They give silver lines as well. But you you might want to go for a, you might have to go for a reload or two. Get back to the airfield. But I-16 is on fire. We are sitting at four kills and the BB-1 is back. Now, let's try to get... No, no, not enough lead, not enough lead. We messed up that burst and that was basically the last long burst we could give. Because we are running out of bullets here. Ah, this was by far, of course, my best match. I had three zeros and two zeros and and one other result, and, and that was basically it. I had about four or five matches in this plane. I also had a, a match with three assists and no kills. <laughs> that was uh, my first match, I believe. Very frustrating. But I got uh, the hang of it again with these guns, these kind of guns. You just need to keep your guns on target a little longer. So after we missed that BB-1 and we ran out of bullets, we went back. We landed on the airfield, we reloaded, repaired a little bit. And now we will see what happens when you face a tougher plane. You know the SB-2Ms, they are tough little bastards. They have a back gunner. Sparkle Sparkle hit hit. <laughs> and one hit from his gunner and my engine is damaged. Orange already. So basically here I decided, okay, let's try to shoot this plane down and see what it takes in this plane. Hit hit. Hit. Sparkle Sparkle. Go up. Now we, we damaged everything, right? <laughs> Water leak, fuel leak, oil leak. This guy has pretty much everything going on right there. White smoke, dark smoke. Not a little bit either. One engine is off. Hit, we tried to go for the same engine again. We, we are not lucky with the fires here. And we go back up. Our engine is already dark orange, let's say. I would call it red, but... <laughs> I don't want to think about the red engine right now. And here we come again. Come on. Going for the right engine. No, no, no cigar, no cigar. Not even a hit. Although I could swear I was on that engine right there. I saw some sparkles, right? Alright, but we're going again. We Our engine doesn't pull us up that far anymore because it's damaged. And we uh, are now stalling out here above the plane coming back in for another attack run no no cigar our aim might have been a little off in that last approach we can't make long attacks anymore we gotta roll the plane over a little sooner we're only 400 meters above the SB2M here we go come on at fire yes <laughs> <laughs> we got to finally got a fire on one of the engines. Don't aim at the hull of this thing, just the center hull. Just aim for the engines with this thing. And eventually you'll get lucky and start a fire. Oh, it was so rewarding. Sunshine, look this plane go down. Get my ace. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, man. This is a nice plane. Five kills, first place in the team. And I wouldn't have made it back to the airfield. <laughs> That's for sure. Black engine there. Anyway, match was over. Let's see what kind of rewards we got. Okay, looks like we got final blow. We got survivor. We got terror of the sky. 55,000 silver alliance and 4,400 research points. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now, this plane is built for speed after flying it a little bit course realized that this plane was made to be fast and everything else was a second thought so maneuverability roll rate not fantastic 
in that sense you don't want to turn in this plane you just want to boom and zoom and keep it strict in the vertical and not become impatient with this thing you can outrun pretty much everything on the field anything you will face at this battle rating uh, you can handle it you might face few planes that can cause you trouble when they are above you in a dive but otherwise you are perfectly safe if you keep strict to your boom and zoom roll the problem with this plane is you can become impatient because of the guns you have three 7.92 millimeter machine guns the mg 17s with 500 rounds for each gun now that seems a lot but when you get up to it and you meet a little bit of the sturdier planes i've had that a few times you can waste all that ammo on one plane it, it happens especially if the pilot is good you saw against the, that last plane that it can be quite frustrating you have to make a lot of passes on a plane we basically wasted uh, all our ammo on that thing as well and that was uh, pretty uh, close to the battle rating of this plane so good plane keep it fast use it in a strict boom and zoom roll and you'll be fine in this plane you can have a lot of fun in it but uh, your aim's got to be on point and um, if you do that you'll be fine and you'll have a lot of fun in this plane it is virtually untouchable at that battle rating guys i hope you enjoyed the video i want to thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button become part of this community if you are already a subscriber don't forget to like the video do leave me a comment and if you really feel like helping out today make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel